Hello and welcome to this Touch Designer tutorial about audio visualization using the flow emitter in order to create an um, audio reactive fire. Let's have a look to this project. Yeah, so this is what uh, we are gonna build today. So first of all, I I will send you to this link. It's a YouTube song free of copyrights. So, um, I will put it on the comments of this video. All right, so let's go now to a new touch designer project. We can delete the operators on the desktop and we can add our audio file in. There's going to be like our control distress song. Of course, we're not going to hear anything because there is no audio device out. But as soon as we add the audio device out, We are gonna hear music. But for the moment, we don't need this, so we actually need to go to tools and to audio analysis. But before going there, we need the base comp and an input chop, and then we drag the audio analysis package that is in the palette and we are there one thing we could do it's like clicking inside we see there is a kind of complicated network here inside we don't need the audio file in here we just drag the in that we add and the and then we add the audio file in that is the control distress song we downloaded all right so other thing we need to do it's like pressing the p parameter at the p key we go in layout and we just write zero to the four first four parameters because otherwise we're gonna see like a layout of this component and we don't need it all right so now we can add a null here and adding a null allows us to see the analysis of our audio clip so here are the low middle and high frequencies the kick detection detection the snare detection the rhythm and yeah all the rest we just need then to grab our low mid high so we need three select and then we press p again we go to channel names click on low on mid and high after that we want three mat copy and paste we connect the three selects to the three mats and then we need some values for the mats for the low we need the range to be like from 0 to 1.8 to 1.2 0 0.2 for the middle frequencies we need 0 0.1 0 0.6 and from 0 to 0 0.3 high frequencies we need 0 0.8 2 
0 0.25. So from range 0 0.8 to 2 to range 0 to 0 0.25. So now these values are actually the best for this song. Like if you use another song, you may adapt better these uh, ranges to your specific song. So we use now a merge. We have the new low, mid and high frequencies value and then we can even add the uh, out. And with the out we can actually see the new frequencies. So we can call this operator frequencies. Right, and now we need like six circles. We have seven, so, so these circles, circles are located differently in space. So zero point minus zero point forty five minus zero point three seventy five. And then we need the last one to be zero point four. 375 minus 0.45, so the opposite, and we need the second one 0 0.55, a little bit higher, yes. 0, 1, 0, 4, 1, 0, 4. All right. Each of them can be, the radius of each of them can be related to different frequencies. So for example, this one can be like related to the high this one as well so by clicking here and activating the flag of our uh, container here we can then click and drag the frequency on the circle top and then leaving the mouse on the radius we'll get this short, small menu and click on chop reference and the radius x and y will be then related to the mid frequency and then the low frequency is going to control the circles in the middle So if we now add a composite top and we connect all the top and then add, we will see now that we have located, maybe we can even have like a better resolution, not necessarily, but we can. So basically we see what, like a different disposition of these circles in the space and they are reacting, the size of each radius is reacting to the frequencies of um, our music. Right, so we can now use, basically we can name this like, we can add a null here. 
and we're going to say here file top because what we need now is just a camera the nvidia flow emitter and then the top nvidia flow we go into the flow emitter we choose shape top and then we can write here fire underscore top and use our yeah this image as a source for our fire now of course it's a little bit far so what we need to do is getting closer with our camera and basically do something like this 0.23 and get closer we got a little bit closer but now we can also change the size of our fire in fact we want a size of 2 1 and 0 0.5 you can see already like the fire is getting yeah bigger and nicer okay now it's just a matter of fixing a little bit of parameters smoke 0 0.3 top we want in settings a gravity of 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 so not that fast towards the, the sky so we had the ramp top and then uh, top to chop following colors 0 0.28 0 0.8 0 0.60 0 0.91 and 0 0.95 and maybe we can even already drag this top two to the page material and then color ramp chop and we see already like we are giving color to our flames so now we need another from here maybe we can make it more yellow like more alpha And here we have again some blue and add this other color. some interesting flames I am now adding a background with a level we have a nice level top and that's it basically we can add them out so that we can see what's going on where else oh yeah 
and we can add our audio device out Yeah, seems pretty good. So, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. There are gonna be some others on the flow emitter. And if you have also some topics to propose, uh, please feel free to comment uh, this video. So, uh, with that said, see you to the next tutorials.